Games Across America is brought to you by Hotwire.com. Fly, sleep, drive, cheap. Hey there, I'm Kurt Long and welcome to Games Across America. You know, recently we traveled to Cincinnati, Ohio where we witnessed a phenomenon that takes place once every 17 years. A phenomenon of biblical proportions. A phenomenon that will affect the lives of all who cross its path. Ladies and gentlemen, I bring you the cicadas. I like the cicadas. I think they're cool. Every 17 years, what a phenomenon. They don't hurt you. They just freak you out. Hello. Whoa, whoa. What about, whoa, Jesus. I just go on in the eye. I woke up with one in my mouth. Did you uh, gargle? Was... No, I just went ahead and swallowed it. Their whole purpose is to come out of the earth, mate, and then they die. Live for love. And then they, they get sex, that's all they get. One time shot, it better be good, yeah. Would you have the sex if you knew you were going to die afterwards? <laughs> My mother's standing right behind you. Well, they're noisy bastards. They are very, very loud. They're all over the place. I come out to party like once every 17 years, and all I get is a bunch of like negativity. It's not right. It's not right at all. Nice. Keep it here for more touching television moments just like that one when Games Cross America's coverage of Cicada Mania and GSN Cicada Games continues. Games Across America is brought to you by Hotwire.com. Fly, sleep, drive, cheap. I am Kurt Long, and you're watching Games Across America's coverage of Cicada Mania and GSN Cicada Games. Now, when we landed in Cincinnati and were bombarded by cicadas, I had this awful vision of the end of the world, like, like some sort of biblical plague had been unleashed on us all. So I did what I felt was best. I, I warned everyone in sight. Take a look. Beware of the cicadas! Please, run from the cicadas! The cicadas will get you! I must warn the people! The cicadas are coming! The cicadas! The red-eyed bug, they're coming for you! They're coming for us all! The cicadas are coming! They have a reservation for doom! Ah! The cicadas are coming, people! Please, drive as far as you can! Why aren't you apprehending Zagatus? Tell him, man! I'm so happy for you. But run! They'll get us! Run! Beware the Zagatus! They... My God, man, you have them! Oh, my God, where are your parents? No, oh, please, leave me! Leave me be! I don't want them! You demon child! The Zagatus! Whoa! You need help uh, with the cicadas? Dudes, this is no time to thrash or board. The cicadas are coming. Please. Why won't they listen to me? They'll devour us all. <laughs> I felt a bit foolish when I later found out the cicadas are completely harmless. But you know what made me feel better? I made it up to Cincinnati for next to nothing Thanks to our sponsors at Hotwire.com. Hotwire.com is the place to go when you're looking to travel for cheap. You don't travel anywhere right now, though. You gotta keep it here, because we'll be right back.
Games Across America is brought to you by Hotwire.com. Fly, sleep, drive, cheap. Hey, I'm Kurt Long. Welcome back to Games Across America's coverage of Cicada Mania and GSN's Cicada Games. Some doctors save lives, and some doctors study cicadas. Well, at least one does, and here he is, cicada expert, Dr. Gene Kritzky. What exactly is a cicada, and am I pronouncing that correctly? You're pronouncing it correctly, although some people say cicada. Because cicada is the Latin pop singer. Mm -hmm. A cicada is a sucking insect with membranous wings. The periodical cicadas have red eyes, black body, and oranged wing veins, and they have a 17-year-long life cycle. 17 years are underground. Mm -hmm. So why are their eyes so red if they've been resting for 17 years? Well, they're not resting while underground. They're busy living in a little tunnel, sucking on a tree root, uh, slowly moving to about eight inches below the surface uh, in the uh, intervening years before they emerge. Uh, the males gather in trees. That's like essentially a gigantic singles bar. There's a precise mating call. English interpretation of that first call is probably, what's your sign? He gets a little closer, he sings again. And it's like, where are you from? Where are you from or can I buy you a drink? And then he starts tapping her on the head with his front leg, and that's when he climbs on her and does the nasty. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, now it's time to die. <laughs> they only have one thing on their mind when they emerge. And that is? Sex. I see that cicadas and I have a lot more in common than I thought. Something else cicadas and I have in common? We both enjoy a good laugh, baby. And if you feel the same way, then keep it here on GSN for more cicada-laced comedy, only on Games Cross America. <laughs>
when he enjoyed 30 seconds of bliss with the hottest young cicada in town. And if you're about to go on a long journey and want a happy ending of your own, then log on to hotwire.com. Why wouldn't you? You get the best prices around. Hotwire.com is the place to book cheap travel. Remember it, learn it, keep watching. We'll be back. Games Across America is brought to you by Hotwire.com. Fly, sleep, drive, cheap. Hey everybody, I'm Kurt Long. Welcome back to Games Across America's coverage of Cicada Mania and GSN Cicada Games. Now we all know most grown-ups don't like bugs, but what do the kids think of these gangly little cicadas? You know what? Let's ask them. Why not? They're right there. You guys want to be on camera? Yeah! What do you like about cicadas? They're cool. They're cool. I like to rip their heads off. If I find one, I'll do it. Really? Yeah. Some people can pull off their front legs. Some people? And it pops their head off. Now you're back. You found a cicada. Well, first let's name him. Let's give him a proper Bob. guess. All you do, grab yeah. their two front legs. Two front legs, all right. And you pull. Oh! You ever eat a cicada? No. Do you want to eat one? No. No. I've never done this before. Let's get a drum roll. Can we hit a drum roll? Oh! Oh, come on, chew. Chew it. No, keep chewing. You gotta chew. Let's get him a, a carbonated beverage. That'll wash that down. Yeah. Let me see your mouth. Open, eye, open wide. No, not even any entrails. See, that's what boys do with bugs. They eat them. As you can see, the gulf that separates men and women begins at an early age. One thing we can both appreciate, however, is good entertainment. And when we come back, I'm going to try to keep giving it to you. Games Cross America, we'll be right back in a few. Just a few. Where are you going? Games Across America is brought to you by Hotwire.com. Fly, sleep, drive, cheap. Hello, friends. I'm Kurt Long. You're watching Games Across America's coverage of Cicada Mania and GSN's Cicada Games. With their annoying buzz and swarming presence, it's no wonder that cicadas can drive people crazy. But how did the animals react to the cicada party? Well, we visited the Cincinnati Zoo just to find that out. At the Cincinnati Zoo, species from around the globe have grown accustomed to the tiresome daily visits from human beings. But how have these captive creatures reacted to what is, for many of these beasts, a once-in-a-lifetime cicada encounter? Here, a rhino paces nervously, unable to sleep due to the relentless sound of cicadas breeding. These baby chicks, however, waddle along for a different reason. A chance to eat a cicada. A pack of lemurs huddle together for safety, while a nearby koi pond is a frenzied underwater buffet featuring all you can eat cicadas. A lynx chooses the cold comfort of his wooden hovel over the cicada-infested outdoors while the king of the jungle chooses to dine al fresco. An East African monkey enjoys an afternoon tummy rub, while his cohort devours some insectivorous grub. Though each animal perceives the cicada in their own unique way, there is an instinct they all seem to share. 
the drive to eat a cicada. If you're looking to make your way up to the Cincinnati Zoo or just about any other attraction in the world, do yourself a favor, log on to hotwire.com to book airfare, hotel, car rentals, and all-inclusive packages. More Cicada fun coming up when Games Across America returns. Games Across America is brought to you by Hotwire.com. Fly, sleep, drive, cheap. Hey there, I'm Kurt Long with Games Across America's coverage of Cicada Mania. You know, all night long we've been enjoying it, but now it's time to take it up a notch with GSN Cicada Games. What kind of game, you ask? Well, I'll tell you. You know, it's the run-of-the-mill bobbing for apples in a tub full of dead cicadas kind of thing. You know, that old one. Except this time, the winner gets a thousand bucks. Hello, Cincinnati Cicada Maniacs. I'll start the timer, and you'll have 30 seconds to find the table, find the basket, and bob for as many apples as possible. Let's start spinning now. You got 30 seconds to get as many apples as possible. Get in there. He's got three. He's got three. He's beating you. There we go. He's in there. Too much silting. Too much silting. She's in there. She's heads in. Three, two, one. I'm sorry. It's over! Todd is our winner! Everybody, let's hear for Todd, our thousand dollar winner with seven apples! What was your strategy? What did you do? Lots of movement, finding those apples and biting them and getting them out, you know? Can we see the wingspan on that mouth of yours? <laughs> the wingspan, I knew something good was coming. Oh. That's pretty good, that's yeah. pretty good. Todd is our one thousand dollar winner! Let's hear it for We're All Partying with Todd tonight! Well, we tried to party with Todd, but when people wouldn't approach us because of the sickening stench, it turned out to be a short-lived fiesta. Whatever, he's a thousand bucks richer, and we all got a good laugh out of it. But that's nothing compared to the game we have on deck. No, stick around for some culinary consumption that'll keep you buzzing for weeks when Games Across America returns. Games Across America is brought to you by Hotwire.com. Fly, sleep, drive, cheap. Hey, I'm Kurt Long, and you're watching Games Across America's coverage of Cicada Mania and GSN Cicada Games. Now, everywhere you find cicadas, so too will you find the annoying buzzing sound that comes with them. It's their mating call. But let's not be hypocrites, people. After all, we humans also have mating calls, don't we? Yes, we do. Listen. Do you have a mating call? You walk up and talk to him. That's it? Yeah. Let's see it in action. Let's go over and talk to that girl. What's going on? That's a great mating call. Very nice. Good work, my friend. 
Now, what was your mating call for your wife? Now. Hey, come to bed. Honey, I'm home. I can't go there. You can't say that on TV? <laughs> Let me see the, your killer smile. <laughs> that is nice. My husband is away. Oh, Until really? Until Tuesday evening, yes. Again. Cut the cameras. <laughs> What call do you have for the ladies? Hey, baby, watch this. Does it work? Every time. Every time. <laughs> what do you think would work on the ladies? Ow! That's not bad. Would you, would you go for that? <laughs> no, no, that would not work. <laughs> There'd be no mating tonight No, for you. there would not. If you're looking to travel the seven seas and showcase your mating call, or if you already have a mate and just want to travel, then be sure to log on to hotwire.com the place to book cheap travel and we never would have made it to Cincinnati without them so thank you Hotwire thank you for sticking around we'll be right back Games Across America is brought to you by Hotwire.com. Fly, sleep, drive, cheap. Hey there, I'm Kurt Long. Welcome back to Games Across America's coverage of Cicada Mania and GSN's Cicada Games. It's time to go back to Cincinnati and continue our voyage of Cicada Discovery. Come with me. So what brought you to Cicada Mania? $2 beers, $2 that's beer. what brought you out to Cicada Mania? That's what brought him out. I'm a sucker for, I'm a sucker for a cheap beer. beer. I'm with you, buddy. <laughs> Jeez. I take my Cicada Nader with me wherever I go. Do you know what brood this is? Brood 10. What do they eat? Tree roots. Do you know that they have a venom? Are you aware of that? Uh, they, they have been known to spit venom about 20 yards. What brood is this? Uh, Brood X. Actually, it's Triple X. Triple X. You know why? I don't know. Because they look like Vin Diesel. What do uh, cicadas feed off of? I would say like a whole bunch of like little bacteria in, inside the ground. No, the blood of humans. You do this every year you make no. cicada cookies? Once every 17 years. So that's not a good business? No. If your hometown is ever besieged by a swarm of insects and you feel the need to get out of Dodge, be sure to log on to Hotwire.com for the best last-minute travel prices around. Thanks to Hotwire, Games Across America's exclusive online travel partner, for sponsoring this show, and thanks to you for watching it. We'll be back in a bit. See you later. Games Across America is brought to you by Hotwire.com. Fly, sleep, drive, cheap. Hey, I'm Kurt Long. Welcome back to Games Across America's coverage of Cicada Mania and GSN's Cicada Games. You know, earlier in the program, we showed you people bobbing apples out of a tub of dead cicadas. And if you thought it couldn't get any more disgusting than that, well, you're dead wrong. Witness GSN's live cicada all-you-can-eat extravaganza. Welcome to the two-minute all-you-can-eat live cicada eating contest. Let's get some noise, people. Three, two, eat your cicadas. He is downing them.
them. And one by one, one by one, one by one. There it is. Would you like some salsa? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. That doesn't look good. That doesn't look good. Look at them. Oh, we put it in the vomit and still eating it. Five, four, three, two. Stop eating cicadas. That's it. Stop eating cicadas. Good job. This is disgusting. Judges. He ate 55. 32. How many gross ones did he get down? 47. He got 64. This guy's a maniac. He had 67. We have a winner! Robert Sabo the Butcher with 67 live cicadas down his gullet. He's our winner. Well, I say get as many as possible and show the women what they want. Let's see the Butcher's winning pose and uh, give us a little message to Hollywood. Oh, yeah. Approximately 30 minutes later, that young man had a different message for Hollywood, but it was hard to make out between the violent hurls into the trash can. Oh well, here's a message for you guys from me. If you enjoyed tonight's Cicada Madness, then be sure to tune in each and every week as we keep bringing you the best in comedic and competitive entertainment from coast to coast. For Games Cross America, I'm Kurt Long, showing you a different way to play. We'll see you next time.